Ryan. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Derek. And nice to meet you. I would like to, I mean, that one, I think, if it didn't get hit, like, hunted this morning, it's going to be really, really, really good. Yeah, I'm down. North Dakota is just about as good of a waterfaller's dream as it gets. Plenty of land, um, plenty of opportunities to go hunting. Uh, it's not too bad getting on landowners. Um, good sides, you know, a lot of people down south always struggle to find land. It's usually not the case here. Um, what we do is struggle sometimes with uh, competing with other hunters. Uh, North Dakota is probably one of the bigger destination waterfall places. Uh, so we get a lot of outer st state hunters, even though we're originally from out of state. But, um, you know, you just got to understand everybody's got their place. But sometimes it sucks when you get your mm -hmm. feet taken or whatever. But uh, that's, that's part of waterfalling. and hit a car in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I guess it left like a few hundred dollars worth of damage. Pull the other one behind it all the time. Like it was just, it just well, mash them. shoot buck once in a while. <laughs> Can you imagine getting that choke real tight? For yeah, for snows. They are roosted on a pond to the south and then it's a south wind again tomorrow. And I guess it's not super far, but it's gonna be windy enough that yeah. no chance that they're gonna hear it, so. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I think it should be pretty decent. And then the farmer left like randomly a wheat row through the middle, probably like eight feet long. No way. They're eight feet wide and pretty like long. And he said they were fucking going right up to it and eating out of it and stuff. Oh so, man. Yeah. He said it's like not super tall, but tall enough that we can hide layouts and do pretty well. So I don't know. The only thing is the rain. Hopefully. It's not downpouring. Sprinkles aren't bad, but you know, Jack. I think the biggest thing out here that uh, helps us out a lot, respecting the landowners. Um, make sure you go ask if he lets you in. Hey, go hunt that feed. Clean up your stuff. Uh, leave the land how you saw it when you got there. Maybe go thank them after. Or ask if they want any birds. Um, they really enjoy that, so it uh, helps us out through everything and. Next next year, you know, next week, hey, he's got birds on his field again. He's he's more than likely saying, hey, you know, go ahead, go on my land. So mm -hmm. it works pretty good out here. And <laughs> Whoa. Get him! So today we had a we had a pretty good feed, about 150 birds, and uh, we had a couple birds come in early that landed short, and we had to get them out of the field, and they they flew south, and they flew right by the roosting pond, and most of the birds decided to fly out that direction for the rest of the day. The hunt just didn't turn out quite what we wanted to do, but we were able to manage to get a few birds. Is that the goose and mascot up there, or what? Yeah, that's a Mr. Goose. <laughs> Last question, if there are some incoming freshmen this year, like it's this weekend, it's move-in weekend, uh, what advice would you give to some of the waterfowlers coming into campus? Um, I would say, you know, be looking out in your classes and stuff, try and reach out to a couple different people. Your success kind of depends on, uh, you know, it's not a one-man job out here for waterfowl hunting, so uh, you find the best group you can find and you're going to do better yourself so uh yeah it's all about it's all about a good group yeah find it early other people are in the same position um you'll meet some kids even if you don't have the biggest spread or the most decoys everyone pitches in you know go out there and find a good group of guys girls and uh get a spread going and it's a lot of fun so yep try something new not as people don't they come to north dakota not knowing quite how to hunt it and best way to learn is just uh, keep going so